Hi, I am Pastor Simon Abu. And I'm coming your way with a new series, The Testament Beyond the Books. What are the Testament? The Old Testament and the New Testament? Are they just books? Are they just writings? We want to look into the books and to discover the hidden truth of the Testament. Our faith, our worship, our practice, all based on the Testament, the covenant we are running with. Join me as we journey together in this studies. God bless you. Let's look at something again. In the first Peter, the book of Peter, we are still looking at Peter. First Peter chapter 3 and the verse 18 to 20. Look at it now. For Christ also died for sins once for all, the just for the unjust, so that he might bring us to God, having been put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made proclamation to the spirit, now in prison, who once were disobedient, when the patience of God kept waiting in the days of Noah, during the construction of the ark, in which a few, that is, Eight persons were brought safely through the water. So the patience of God kept waiting in the days of Noah. During the construction of the ark, it was the patience of God that people would see. Noah warned them, flood is coming, a flood is coming, come into the ark. They rejected it. Just as we are pointing people to Christ, Christ is the ultimate salvation for you. And they are bringing all kinds of excuses and all kinds of things they are holding on to that cannot save them. My plea with you is that just as God patiently waited, he's patiently waiting for you to come. Receive Christ now. What happened to these people? Will you blame God for that? No. If you go to hell, will you blame God for that? No. There's only one way to go. Jesus. The rejection of Jesus is the rejection of the ways of God. And you cannot reject the ways of God. And still meet God. It's impossible. You may say, oh, I have not rejected Jesus. I see Jesus as my prophet. Like I said already, no prophet can save you. People still don't believe that Jesus died for their sins. But here we saw that Jesus died once and for all to save man. If you reject it, there is no way for you. This is the time for you to accept the gospel. You may flip through all this. We are preaching, we are teaching, we are telling you the right way, the truth. And when you reject it, it's not us. Noah was saved and the rest of the people were condemned because they rejected the ark. They didn't come. They thought they were wise. They, they thought they could argue with Noah. They thought they could say things. They thought they, thought they were enjoying pleasure. Enjoying themselves. They were eating. They were marrying. They thought that was good. That was enough. Until the flood came. People are wandering out there. And when we preach this. They say oh they are making noise. That day is coming. Receive Christ. God is patiently waiting for you. Just as he waited for them 120 years. And only eight people were saved. That is bad. Don't be part of the rest. I want you to join the eight. Those of us who have received Christ, we know where we are going. You know, after here, we know where we are going. Do you know where you are going? Nothing can take you to God. But Jesus can take you to God. Receive him today and your life will never be the same. I pray for you now that the resurrection power will quicken you and bring you to a place 
that you the light of the gospel, that the light of the gospel will fill you up and embolden you beyond the veil of Satan and bring you to a place of salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. We love you. Come. And Jesus will accept you. No matter who you are, he's calling you. No matter what you have done, he's calling you. It is when you come that you see change. He's not expecting you to change before you come. He is the change you need. Accepting him is accepting change. Praise the Lord. God bless you as you come. And I'm waiting to see you there. One of these days. Amen.